<laughs> hey YouTube, hey it's the Steady Flyer here. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on my FPV setup for the X380. Um, I actually just got it in the mail today. I want to show you guys what I did. I mounted the FPV camera right there on the bottom side. There's a screw hole for the for the G2D right behind there for that the gyro. So I just used that. It fit perfectly right in there. Um, I've test flown it earlier today. It's kind of windy outside. As you can see, I don't know if you can or not, but it's blowing around out there pretty good. I flew it for about maybe five minutes. Uh, the wind, I didn't I didn't feel comfortable flying it today with this on there without, I want to wait for a nice calm steady day. But uh, basically I have the FPV camera right on a tilt. So as you tilt the cam on the controller here, it tilts the, the FPV cam with it. So you get this cool little flow like this in here. Um, I still have to do, as you can see back there, the wires to the camera. I've got to thinking about putting like a, either just tying them right into the strap when I strap the cam on or just kind of figuring out a different way of securing it to the back of that because when I go down the wires tend to get a little too much tension on it or something and the gimbal wants to do that but it'll fight through it sometimes so I'll just fix that before I don't want to blow the motor's out or anything. Go up. And I actually had to take apart the G2D and run the wires to the camera. So the, the cam wires run right up inside the arm with the original wires for the gimbal. So I've got free movement this way. I've got free movement that way. It keeps it nice and steady. Um, but like I said, I gotta do something with those wires behind there because you see a jumps or whatever it caught when it, too much pressure is on the motors. It thinks it's getting hung up or something, so it goes into that. And then I mounted my FPV antenna right underneath the gimbal itself. Uh, well, on top of the gimbal, as you can see there, I kind of got my wires. I'm gonna neaten. I'm gonna kind of straighten them up a little bit and uh, do that. But I get a really good picture. I use the Eshin. Let me find it here. I used the E Sheen 700 TVL 5.8 32 gigahertz 30 5.8 gigahertz 32 channel FPV system, and I've had I've got the uh, Falcon right here. I just got new arms for it today. I got them new arms and the motor mounts too. On there but uh, I had the screen so now I made a mount that sits onto the fits onto the X380 controller and it's removable I can remove the mount itself and the screen easily comes off by just pulling pulling that cap screw right there whatever you want to call that knob screw and it comes apart and everything fits right in the case over there I got that X380 case for my brother um, some of you might have seen him crashing his on YouTube, but that's where I got that from. But as of right now, it works really good. I just need to do something with them wires behind there. I wonder if I could actually splice those wires out if they're too coarse or too stiff and actually put some lighter wire in into that camera. I don't think it should be an issue. But it's pretty cool. Um, wanted to share that with you guys if you have any questions I'll try to put anything everything that I used inside the comment box um, but I'll definitely keep get you guys updated on how I mounted those wires because I got to do something with them because they're not gonna work like that I like to be able to tilt my gimbal all the way down so you can see from the top view but uh, so far it seems to be working good I just got to take it out and test fly it when this wind calms down a little bit out there um, yeah 
This is Steady Flyer, and I hope you guys like this. Uh, feel free to comment, uh, criticize, share, and please subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.